Hey guys, Crew Blonde Wave back. I'm Andy. I'm sorry, I don't have a costume, but you got your <laughs> stuff on. You can just say who you are. Do it. <laughs> Melanie. No, you're Ann. Raggedy Ann. <laughs> yeah, I'm Aaron. Old pissed off Raggedy Ann. She's bitter now. To the core. And we're back with Batwoman. Previously on Batwoman, we've been dealing with uh, Luke suit doing things, uh, Ryan's mom being real, and uh, being real, Alice, a real bitch. Alice Wait. trying to escape her house arrest ankle bracelet. Yeah, in a clever way. But now she's been nanobotted. Yeah, which is awesome. I like the technology, and she is back in Arkham. Sure. We had. Uh, Killer Croc last episode, or at least a Killer Croc newbie. Um, newbie. Hmm. However, the poison of ivy is actually still out there. Fake. It's fake news. It's still out there and whatnot. Um, and then we also had a poll about stuff from Batwoman previously, where we asked, do you think that Jada Jet was referring to Luke Fox when she said about stealing an employee? Oh, yeah. Uh, we had 29% say no. she was talking about Luke. 29? 70% say she was talking about someone else. His daddy! Maybe. Marcus the boss says it's most likely Lucius Fox. <laughs> Although I wouldn't feel that it's wrong if it was Luke. Could also just be a coincidence, but when is that the case? Especially in these shows. So I'm rooting for Lucius, but it could go either way. I feel like... Luke would have mentioned something by now. Maybe. Maybe he'll tell Mary while Mary's staring at his rock hard abs. I wonder if those were CGI. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, Carrel? Carrel? Carol? Oh, that's cool if it's like Car L. Carrel? But Carol? Carol? Uh, my thought was Lucius. The way she worded it, it sounded like it happened a long time ago. Plus, I don't think Luke would have ever wanted to work anywhere but Wayne. I imagined he would have wanted to follow in his dad's footsteps from the start. Cab says, I think your theory of Jada, Jet, and Lucius Fox is 100% accurate, even though I don't like it. <laughs> Which, uh, last episode, I tossed around the idea of, like, what if Lucius was there working, there was, like, an affair thing that happened, and Ryan is actually, like, the half-sibling of Luke. Yeah, I don't like it either. Joel says, I, I agree that it's probably Lucius Fox also. However, watch them reveal that it was Alfred. I think I'll stop watching the show if that happened. I don't know if they're going to do that, but maybe they will. Maybe they won't. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> I wonder who they would cast as Alfred. Have we seen Alfred yet? Not in this show, I don't think. No, I don't think so. We met his niece. Or daughter. Mm. Um, and the last one we'll read here is from CJ. He says, I feel like if it was Luke, he would have said something about working there when she and her company were first brought up. So, Or whenever their helicopter was landing on top of the building. And maybe he wouldn't have thought that it was pertinent to mention all I used to work for. Oh, me. shit, she's after me. But he didn't know some microtech stuff that he used to get... Nanotech. The yeah. stuff, and that was the stuff they were talking about. So... Who knows? But a father passes on information, learns from his dad. Right. Kind of also relates. I definitely think, though, it was a fox. Yeah. Have to wait to see what they say. Taylor, check this out. Uh oh, what's he got? Hey, look. Poison ivy? Catching frogs under low bridge. Chill. Oh, no. Is it freeze? Chill. Tell them I'm going to be late. <laughs> it does blow up! Chill. The Ice Age! Gotham officials are linking the freezing agent to Mr. Victor Freeze. Victor the Freeze. The cryobiologist Gotham remembers as one of Batman's coldest enemies. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to finish our conversation last night. What? They just didn't talk anymore after that? I'm your daughter. Get out! I have to admit, Ryan, in an effort to respect your time and mine, I will try to make this as simple as possible. I don't care. I'm not interested in having a relationship with you. 
Adam, will you let Bonnie know that I'm on my way? You paid a doctor two million dollars to fake your name on my birth certificate. She's trying to protect you. It looked like you died, so I never came looking for you. What were you afraid of? Yeah, she's trying to protect you. Sometimes it's better to stop asking questions. Who my birth mother was. Now I know. I feel like it flipped so quick when Someone she realized something kind of thing. Like she thought about it. I'm glad we're on the same page. It's cool. I won't take any offense. I'm Jaturian Industries Executive Vice President. Mm. Marcus Jet. Yeah. Her, also known as my Her brother. How'd you know she was still alive? <laughs> hmm. Oh, this is where she is. Okay. Where is she gonna be? Everyone Arco. is like, boo-hoo, tracking nanobots inside me, my skin, it um, feels like spiders are running through my veins. Okay, that's not a thing. Wayne Tech uses <laughs> nanobite injectables in their research. Such a little bit of water. Are you calling in sick? Is that what this is? Plus, I doubt that she won't want to cut them most wanted with you breaking into the GCPD. Oh, okay. I like that shot. That's fun. It's like Mission Impossible. Do I have like a lock picker instead of doing damage? Yeah, because now they're going to be able to tell that this has been done sure. versus unlocking it sure. and then re-locking. I mean, I like the bat laser. Log say it was tagged and filed at 10.07 a.m. Uh, this morning. Uh, a crooked no, cop took it. I think I know why Batman kept his own evidence locker. Hmm. There it goes. We can finally finish what Victor started. What? You stole Victor's freeze tank? <gasps> Nor freeze! What? How you were frozen for 20 years. And left to talk about it. Is that Victor's, like wife that he was yeah. trying to save the life of and right isn't her name nora yeah i thought so brilliant cryobiologist half a dozen doctorates still insisted on being called mr freeze but then again captain cold wasn't really a captain so <laughs> who's that it's true uh, yes come in dr freeze though huh? that is nora freeze yeah. and in arkham intake photo t smithy is nora freeze's sister mm. send me the address i'll fire up the batmobile I remember in the one movie it was like Luke Garrett's disease. Off of Bruce Wayne's shelf of first edition. Raised in the system, stint at Blackgate, and now acting CEO of Wayne. Oh, and uh, you're my sister. Oh, okay, good. Wait, what? She told you that? I would ask you for a hug, but you look like you could kick my ass, so. <laughs> We're late to the party. Someone was here and it got ugly. Were they under the freezer the again or, or the freeze tank. Or the roommate we didn't know about. Man, but he, she aged fast in three Lord, years, right? Yeah. But we don't, you don't know the effects of like the cure thawing out. The All that. And the cure. I don't suppose you know where we'll find a cryo chamber. What do you know about Ace Chemicals? Ace, Ace Chemicals, baby. Okay. They have a lot of people. Like, what are they doing? I know, it's like a whole gang. Who do they work for? 98.6. She's so catty. <laughs> you couldn't help Bat Boy, so now you're burdening me with your savior complex. Bat Boy? Yeah. Luke. Says in his files he's having some unfortunate performance issues. You <laughs> That cabinet is locked. Do you not see your place on this team? I've been on it for less than a month and it's already glaringly obvious. They don't see you unless they need you. Just like Daddy. And just like Kate. So if you want to She's really trying to get them, to her, huh? Mm-hmm. <sighs> She's getting to you, Mary. Don't let her. Alice does Watch such a good job. <laughs> I like the actress a lot. Yes. This is going to make my client very Happy. Who's your client? Really realizes it doesn't Wonder work. if she works for Jenna Jade. Jenna. Walking out of here. Well, if what she's saying is true, this is going to be a major problem. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that was very bad, Mandy. <laughs> Where were all these guys at? Fun 
done it like that. Ugh. Come on, let's do this. I'm liking this. <laughs> Man, I want to hate this woman so bad, but she's just so gorgeous. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I have to remember to hate her. Whoa, talk to me. What is happening? They trapped me in the cryo chamber. Took you this long to say something? Now? Yeah. Wow. That woman's on it. Oh, she got here, huh? Alice is here. She, she can help protect him. Sure. <laughs> Have you considered cataract surgery? It would be a bit like cleaning the windows on that Hindenburg. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like her so much. Two decades. So you want me to kill you? Could you be a worse hostage? <laughs> you take all the fun out of it. I like the old lady. Bat cave to Batwoman. Oh, uh, Sophie's here. Bat cave to Batwoman. Huh. <laughs> yeah. I kind of like that. Behind fight you. Scene. Oh. <laughs> I really like that fight scene. <laughs> I mean, she was taken out so easily though compared to before, but I don't know. I know what flirting is. What was that? I am not flirting with Sophie. Guys. Comes on. <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna put Sophie with another bad woman? Uh, third time's the charm. Bum. Oh, whoa. Oh, no. Back it up. Fly. We're good. We Jump it. Yeah. Jump it. I need a copy of the chunk of bridge missing at your 12 o'clock. Touch it right in front of you. Is it Link still in the car? Yeah, I think so. There's Luke. Oh, okay. He's gonna freeze the bridge? Whoa. That's kinda cool. It's working! Ah, tire spikes, okay. That's cool. So she's not gonna jump in. Why did they just stay and watch? I don't get that part. It was interesting. Interesting? <laughs> well, I mean, you are hard to please. <laughs> Grapple. Oh. Man, I'm surprised she didn't fly out the back of that. Let her go. Cool. She has all the notes. Oh, what? Cause she took off roaming or what? Yeah, why is she in here? She left the back cave? Well, she was in the, the doctor clinic thing and then went walking, I guess. Whoa! This must be her delusions, delusions. right? Delusions. Guess it's safe to say you figured out the glitches in your super suit. You could say that. It's because he disabled the fail safe. Dad designed the suit to react to Luke's physiology. A surge in heart rate shuts it down. I had to say something. Well, no, talk didn't. to him first. <laughs> this kind of goes with what Alice said, huh? She's not listened to. And... So as tempting as it is to have a brother, I gotta put the team first. I think that's safe. Sure. Probably wise. We also don't know him too well to know if we should team up with him yet. Right. The bronca dilator to help. GCPD's probably out hunting for us as we speak. That woman took care of it. Neither one of you have anything to worry about. Thank you, Grant. <laughs> I like her. Yeah. Uh oh. What? Mary! <laughs> What? Why? Ah, uh, poison ivy. Yeah, 
But Try to get Mary away. What does she want with Mary? I don't know. I also wonder if it could be like real poison ivy because I don't know how you do like a duplicate poison ivy, you know? Mm-hmm. Like the Mad Hatter one was like, okay, you have the hat, it works. Killer Croc ended up being an infection thing they did. But how do you have poison ivy who can control plants and stuff? How do you have a duplicate of those that can control plants and stuff? I, I don't know. I, I can see that happening, though. Like, uh, someone that was following Poison Ivy's footsteps, like a, a plant enthusiast, a botanist as well. Like Sure. And then she came across this. So, I don't know for sure if it's going to be Poison Ivy, like Pammy, or if it's going to be, like, some random... But Maybe. we are going to get a poison ivy, which sure. is kind of exciting. I want to know who the woman and the people were here and who they were working for. Yeah. Like, the only thing I can think of is that her client is going to be like Jane Jess or something. Yeah, or Marquise. Marcus, I guess is how you actually say it, right? It's Marcus Jet or is it Marquise Jet? I guess he said Marcus. I think it's just Marcus, but it's spelled like Q U I S. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just. I wonder who they are, who the client is, why they need a cryo chamber. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense either, other than to harness the technology for sale. Sure. But I was kind of interested in what they did here with the uh, with Nora, with Freeze's wife. It made her old. Yeah. Well, sure, but it was the uh, you know she was frozen for like two decades, mm-hmm. and he never achieved what he needed to, and he died. But then she thawed because they ran out of the liquid and stuff. So, like. They had a cure, they gave it to her, and sure, that worked, but the cryo effects, the side effects have her aging super fast, and he didn't account yeah, for that. I really liked that. Like, I liked how, like, she, like, came out of it and then caught up with life. Mm-hmm. Like, it still happened, even though they tried to prevent it, but... Like, for being Dr. Freeze, or Mr. Freeze, uh, them talking about him, like, ah, he still chose me. Like, you Dr. Dr. Freeze could have made sense, but... Um, for being based on like him and his stuff, there was a not a lot of freezing things in this episode. No, I did two. like the goggles, like you said. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those were his because like he had kind of goggle things in his helmet yeah. that he had. Um, but there I was know the bus. I said firefly, fireflies. Saw as, as soon as I saw fireflies. <laughs> what firefly? Yeah, she also has those like techno goggles. Who's firefly? The one that blows fire everywhere. Mm-hmm. Right? Isn't that her name? Um, heat wave, and Captain no. Cold. It's the girl that like heat wave. I don't know who she I'm is. Sure she's Firefly. Anyway, I don't know. know. Con- Condiment King. He sprays red stuff everywhere. And white stuff. Uh, usually it's mustard and ketchup. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it's not usually mayonnaise. Eight mayonnaise. Um. What do you think about, I guess, a Sophie and Ryan thing kind of being pushed at here a little? I guess. They already were pushing, like, Luke and Mary. Yeah. I guess with Sophie, third time the charm. I mean, we went through Kate, then we went through Julia, and then now Ryan? Sure. And she's probably the cutest one of the three. Ryan? Yeah. Her in that dress was fire <laughs> like i said when i was like oh my gosh marcus please don't hit on your sister i know <laughs> i'm like please don't go for that and then he said about his sister i'm like oh thank goodness he knows <laughs> okay good but yeah um i don't know i don't know how i feel about the sophie ryan thing but i'll see how it goes i guess i'm okay with it i just don't like the fact that it's batwoman again <laughs> batwoman sure. and sophie again um I kind of wouldn't mind, I guess, seeing, like, she's already been doing, like, the hitting up other girls thing. That was, like, the first episode was her, like, out of the club. And mm-hmm. maybe there's a little bit more of that before it's, like, actually kind of happening. Like, maybe. she fights it where it's, like, no, I can't do this again. And it's, like, well, you know what? I kind of like her. You know? It's, like, a reluctant, like, I do like her. But she, like, tries not to because she doesn't want it to just be, like, well, it's a Batwoman. Yeah. But there's also that, like, I don't know, element of, like, risk and danger and stuff from her. And it can be exciting and... Right? Yeah. Isn't that why girls like like bad boys and stuff? Yeah. That's why you fell in love with me. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> Sorry. 
I, I was going to come like with a remark or something, but nope. I don't know. I hope that, like, for some reason, they're like, okay, we don't want to settle down. We don't want to have a serious relationship. And that we dedicate more time to Luke and Mary. Like, I don't want to see both relationships happen. I want to see one or the other or none at all. Yeah, sure. I get you. Get new leather jacket. Who? Huh? Who? No, for myself. Oh. <laughs> okay. Get my bad boy image back. Um, um, I did like the mention of Ace Chemicals. Sure. Yeah. And then and going to Ace Chemicals, I mean, and we know it exists. It's a Gotham drop of, you know, yeah. Joker and, you know, chemicals. And I, we've mentioned it in other stuff before, I think. I'm pretty it's sure it's been mentioned in the Arrowverse at some everything. point or another. But it's pretty good. I, uh,. I always enjoy Alice. I think that she's a really good actress and does a good job with her stuff. Rachel! She has a way of playing Alice where it's just kind of like, I don't care. You know, I don't know. There's just this thing where it's like, it's all a show to her regardless, Mm -hmm. but it works because of who she is. I I don't know. And you can tell that the actress is having fun in this role, you know? Like, she's just... Like, every role that I've seen her in, it's always been, like, a serious type of role. Like, yeah. it's, like, I mean, she has fun with it and whatnot, and she has, like, these quirky moments and stuff, but not to this extent. Sure. Like, you can tell she's having fun. And I love the Nora knife thing, whatever. She's <laughs> like, kill me. She, what? You're the worst. You want me to kill you? <laughs> You're a terrible hostage. And, like, she gets mad at her for, like, wanting to die kind of thing. So... No, I like that one as well. I think that she does a good job. She's pushing Mary, I think, in a bad way, but I also feel like Nora is kind of pushing Mary in a good way, and maybe we can see some growth between Alice and Mary, and maybe Mary will look at Alice in a different way and help to get her to not be the way she is. Maybe. Like, there's obviously a delusional problem that Alice is having. Right. But Nora has that thing of like, oh, you know, she's your sister. I can tell by your way you're fighting. You know, she's been locked up. She just wants freedom. You know, that's what I want. And maybe Mary will, I don't know. I don't know if there's something they can do, if she can help with the delusions. If they can get to a point where she removes the nanobots and, like, has, like, a trust thing. Mm -hmm. Because it wasn't like they removed her ankle thing and trusted her. Right? Mm -hmm. She broke free and was trying to run. Right. So, But I I think the way that Alice is pushing Mary is not necessarily bad. I think these are some things that she needs to hear. Like, the fact that, hey, your team's not listening to you. And then she puts it to the test, and lo and behold, they're not listening to her. Sure. And then she's like, hey, you know Luke has PTSD. You know he does. And you have not told him. (laughs) And, like, I think she's pushing her in a good way that she needs because Mary's very passive. I'm worried that she's pushing her, too, to help start splitting up the team to try to give her a better Yes, I mean, that's Alice's motive. But I think the way that she's pushing her is not necessarily bad. Do you think she'll care? Say we come back, you know, the Poison Ivy thing, right? Say Mary has been kidnapped by Poison Ivy, or Mary's missing, or whatever reason, right? Do you Mm -hmm. think Alice will care? Like, do you think that would be a thing where Alice would want... Because, like, in this one here, we had, like, I was nice to you, you know? She's like, (laughs) I don't want nice! (laughs) Yeah, but do you think there's, like, that's... Is there that element of, like, that's my sister... And she was trying to help me kind of thing? I think it's going to come down to she's the only one that can give me adequate help. Hmm. So she's she's the only one that she kind of trusts right now. Even though, like, they're bitches to one another constantly. But they're the... Alice can only trust Mary. But it's not like she's a psychologist or anything either. She's like a medical doctor, not like a mental doctor. But she can give her guidance on where to go and how to get help. I suppose so. I did like what Mary did with uh, Nora there. It was like, here's some of this stuff. And then Nora's just like, I just want to use what's left in my lungs and then, you know, have my last one. And it's like, enjoy the last moments we have kind of thing Mm -hmm. rather than trying to prolong it and being miserable, you know? Yeah. Because, I mean, it's so sad. Like, she could have lived out her last few days with her husband. And instead, she was frozen and didn't even get to be with him whenever her husband died. Mm -hmm. Like... Sure. She never got to see him again. Like, she was frozen for 20 years or whatever, right? And Missed out how many of those years everything. was the husband trying to find a cure and trying to do this and stuff to save her? But and that's why I like Mr. Freeze, too, because, like, there's, like, a good intention there. Yeah. That's why I like, you know, the 
the Batman and Robin movie gets such a, you know flack for being so cheesy and campy and <laughs> not that great. Yeah. But I like Mr. Freeze I as do. like a villain because there's sure Poison Ivy wants the world to be, you know, plants shouldn't be ruined and nature is pretty and humans are playing on the world and stuff like that, you know? Which like, is kind of good, too, to sure. an extent. But she goes, like, environmentalist, and then she goes, like, environmental ter- terrorist kind of thing, <laughs> you know? Um, whereas Dr. Freeze is, like, he does the same kind of idea where he's attacking things, and in that movie he's getting diamonds for his freeze ray, and he's going to freeze the whole city and stuff or whatever, but... I like that it's based on like a love aspect where he doesn't want to lose his wife and that's kind of what sends him into this downward spiral of what it is. It's, and then the sister's kind of doing the same thing where like she's like I need to save him. I stole this from the from the police and I'm going to kill Batwoman to save you sis and you know stuff like that. Like I do like that as a motivation, but I also like it because it makes sense. Like, you can actually imagine someone doing something sure. like this to save a loved one. Sure, and then go too far. I mean, Breaking Bad is based on that whole idea, right? Like, um, that one falls into, rather than the wife getting sick, the husband gets sick. And he he wants to make sure that his family's taken care of, so he goes into some bad things mm-hmm. to get money. And he doesn't to let care them... about his reputation at that point because he thinks he's going to die. Sure, and he's going to die. And then it progresses to a point where, like, he's living longer than he thought he was going to live and then he gets kind of bigger badder and whatnot and goes too far into this crime thing you know mm-hmm. like it's an interesting story as opposed to like I don't know I don't really get penguin you know like, nah, nah, I want to own stuff I don't know like well it depends on people what hate lore. me because I'm short it depends on what <laughs> lore you go behind but yeah he was like bullied his whole entire life like um I guess the one I think of specifically is Gotham. Like, he's bullied because he, like, one, can't walk correctly. He's weird. Mm-hmm. Like he, His name's Cobblepot. <laughs> so, like, there's a lot of things. So I can understand someone that's been bullied wanting to become the bullier, you know? Sure. And rise above and control everything. So I can understand that. I, I guess like so. almost retaliation. Sure, but. and that's not like a unheard of thing, you know. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a lot of what happens, sadly, in different stories of life of like people who have been bullied and stuff, and, and then, then eventually bring a they. Gun to school. I wasn't gonna say things <laughs> like that. It's a little too too much, but I was getting at that point a little bit. Yeah. So sure, <sighs> but. I don't know. I, I did like what they did in this episode. I, I wish there was a little bit more freezing to be had. I only got to say chill and Ice Age once. Um, <laughs> maybe twice, but I, the bridge thing was kind of cool. I'm so sorry that your puns failed. Yeah. I was hoping they'd be like, nice! You know, like... <laughs> I don't know. Have an ice day. I don't know. Something. I didn't do any of that. No one did. No, no one did any fun puns. No. That's why Arnold was the best doc- of Mr. Freeze. <laughs> um... Do you have anything else, or do you want to check out Q and A's a little bit here yeah, we'll and check see out what Q and A's? I didn't write anything down except for cleaning windows on the Hindenburg. <laughs> what do you think about the mom? I feel like it's the, just gonna blow up anyway. <laughs> I feel like the mom um, wanted to meet with her, but then when she was saying about like I don't know, I think there was something about the way she was talking of regardless of why you sent me away, I don't want to. You know, I don't care about that. I think she was thinking about why she sent her away. And then she's like, "I that's right. I need her to be gone. I can't have her here because I was trying to protect her for whatever reason. I'm almost wondering, like, I know it's weird, but what if she was protecting her from her already son? Like, what if her son was showing, like... He was like, a year old. He was Not a even. year old, but you can still see, like, signs of, like, <clears throat> being a psychopath at one, you know, like... Look at this cute baby doll. Joy, 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 joy. Like, I mean, one year olds aren't doing that. One year olds are. One year olds aren't doing that. (laughs) One year olds are capable of going. Da da. Are you thinking about something? Ayla. You don't remember her doing that? Was that, that? when you, you're trying to get her to say mom? And she'd go, dad, dad. Ha, 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 ha. Like she knew that you wanted to 
you wanted mom and she said dad dad and then laughed out evilly it was. evil oh my gosh takes after mom the creepiest one year old ever <laughs> creepiest <laughs> anyway uh let's move on to q and a's here and check out some stuff uh from you guys we're gonna use twitter we do uh at blonde wave crew is our tag over on twitter and you can tag uh hashtag Batwoman Q and A, and we will talk about things that you guys you know, thought about, questioned, didn't like, did like, whatever. <laughs> uh, Silent Angel says, "Hey guys, so what does Poison Ivy or whoever controls the vines possibly want Mary for? Is it a random thing? Does it have to do with Mary graduating and becoming an official doctor, or something else?" Yeah, I don't know if it's like the sciency aspect. Like, because Mary has a very bright mind, but how would she really know about Mary? Like, um, what if... What if it's not a person and it's just the vines still? Hmm. Like, the vines did move out of the water, right? Right. Like, they weren't being controlled by anybody, I don't think, yet. Like, does someone have to find those and then control them? Do the vines have to find someone to control them? Like... Is there something they look for in like a person? Is that a, is that a possibility? Like, can Mary be the next? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's a possibility or if it's like they need something. Like, I don't know how much control the vines have on themselves versus being controlled by someone. Like, were them climbing up out of the water? Is that poison ivy still controlling them, or is that it doing its own thing? Maybe like poison ivy sensed them and started pulling them to her. Like, who could get into Arkham to get her out? Because I think she's in Arkham, right? Poison Ivy is? I, so. I think that's what they said. Like, could you have a vine wrap its way around, like, Mary's leg and, like, threaten, like, a, an important artery on her body that was going to cut her if she didn't, like, go into Arkham and, like, release Poison Ivy somehow or something? I mean, it's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> but no, alternatively, possibly? like, maybe they need a Poison Ivy and they're like, hey, you will do. And it's like, control us but that seems really that seems weird yeah i don't think so so i don't know i don't know what it wants with her uh naveen thampy says we've been told that the joker mad hatter killer croc and mr freeze are dead do you think they are dead or can be brought back later also do you think that other villains penguin bane clayface scarecrow and man bat could be alive yes to all of it <laughs> I, think I, I don't that's think possible. i don't think joker is dead you think it's fake i think that one's fake all the rest of them i think you'd definitely know if like killer croc was dead sure uh, and well mr freeze might it. be too old maybe i don't know i mean if nora was like 35 when she got unthawed three years ago right so she would have been thawed at 35 and so. they spent 20 years in stasis. Mm -hmm. If he was close to her age, he would have been like in his 50s or so. Right. So, Freeze is probably gone and not coming back. Though, that makes me wonder, like, the Batman face that we got of who Bruce Wayne was seems fairly young. <laughs> you know, compared to how old Freeze would have been. Like, was he fighting like a 50-year-old Freeze or a four, like a 40-year-old Freeze maybe? I can see that. Rather than, like, a, I picture more of, like, a 30-year-old Freeze that he would have been fighting, you know? But I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like Bruce Wayne was that old, you know? What disease did she have? Though, there was a Batman when Kate was, like, 12, right? Because wasn't it a Batman that showed up at the car and saved her at that bus? That was the True. Joker. Like, right? the Joker did a thing. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, like, he was there then, and then Kate, what, was that 20 years ago? How old, How long ago was that? I don't remember. Right? Like, 20 years might be okay. So, I don't know. I just feel like the Bruce Wayne face we had, that, what was it, Hush, Tommy Elliot or whatever it was? Remember how he had a face? Mm -hmm. I don't feel like that matches as well as, like, oh, that looks like an older Bruce Wayne who used to be Batman. You know, like, I could see, like, that guy just is Batman now. But I don't know how old he was when he started being Batman, so. True. I don't know. I could say anybody, especially if they brought Batman back, like, they might be like, oh, you know what? Joker faked his death, you know? 
Ah, freeze shattered into ice cubes, but really it was a statue of him. I don't know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I could see them bringing back some people. Yeah, for sure. I can see them bring stuff back. Um, it's DC Universe, of course. <laughs> they have to recycle these things. And like they do that stuff in comics all the time, too. It's like, they're back. Or they're from another alternate universe or something, you know? Yeah. Another whatever. Earth. And as Campos says, me, when I saw that vine, take Mary. Do you think this could be a new version of Poison Ivy or the original? I mean, I assume it would have to be the original. Also, it shows a gif of me being like, oh, <laughs> everyone's Ivy. so excited for you to have poison I hope, ivy. <laughs> I want to see. I want it to be. It should be the original poison ivy. I just wonder who, who she is or what she looks she like. She better be redhead. Uma Thurman. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like Uma Thurman's older now. She played poison ivy like some years ago. You know, the, I wonder if she would take on a role of probably not. Not on TV. Probably not on TV. She's too big of a name. But sometimes they bring people back from, like, the other lore and whatnot. So, yeah, true. who knows? Lover Sashimi says, Do you side with Mary about benching Luke until he gets his PTSD under control? And that, um... And that only if he has. Lover Sashimi says, Do you side with Mary about benching Luke until he gets his PTSD under control? I mean... Yes, if he requires the suit. Like, if he's able to hold his own without the suit, I think he's okay. But if he freezes, like, whenever a gun's pointed at him again, Mm -hmm. then, I mean, for sure, he needs to be set. It makes things more dangerous for everybody anyway. I think maybe bringing him out for times when you need someone. Like, this was a fairly... Like, this was an emergency situation. Like, well, who else do we have or what else do we have to do? But maybe in the regular... Just, all right, we're going out. Like, I wouldn't have had him maybe initially. Right. But maybe if you had him initially, she wouldn't have gotten knocked out and put in the crowd chamber. So, I don't know. The one thing I didn't like was, like, Batwoman came in, she beat all these guys' asses, and then fought the one girl, got distracted by the other two, and then got knocked out. But then, like, Luke came in, just beat everybody up. Everyone ran away. Her, her included. Opened up the chamber for Batwoman, and then everyone took off running. And I'm like... It it was weird. I did like the shot from looking through the glass. And you just see action going on. And then the smushing of that lady's face. (laughs) Like, I did like that shot. But like you said, wow, how did he do all of this so easily? Yeah. And then all of them just running away. Yeah. Yeah. It felt a little weird. It felt weird, but I did like that, like, action shot. (laughs) Um, Chris Octu says, do you think Alice will eventually be redeemed to the point that we would see her put on a Batwoman suit? Not a Batwoman suit. I think that she holds some grudges against that or something. (laughs) But uh, I can see her being part of the team for a little bit before she goes out on her own. Hmm. Like, willing to be part of the team. I could see... I think Mary could get to her, and I think maybe she would. I think there's a point that we could get to where maybe the nanobots can be removed, but she'll stay. Mm-hmm. But I don't know about putting on like a bat suit of some sort or becoming a part of the actual bat family. No. I don't think that they would let that happen. Not after like how murderous she was. Yeah. Um, I Heart Caramel says, was there a moment in your life where you faked being sick to get out of something you didn't want to do? Can you think of a time when you faked being sick to not have to do something? I'm trying to think of one. I don't think, I don't think I ever faked being sick to not go to school. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Um, I know, like, there were several times where I was sick when there was something I wanted to do, like plays and stuff. Sure. But... Not vice versa. You're not a fake like one to not go to it or anything yeah. like that. I mean, I feel like most of the things I did were things I wanted to do, you know? Like, if I was in a sport, it's because I wanted to be in the sport. My parents were like, you got to be in this or you got to mm-hmm. do that. And I felt like most of school I was usually good with going to. I'm trying to think. There's, I don't think there's any ever. I mean, I guess I've skipped a couple of days here or there, but I was honest with my parents. I'm like, hey, I'm not done with my uh, economics project. 
and I will fail if I show my face. <laughs> Which, I mean, that was Mrs. Clark, so yeah, you would have failed if you showed your face. I, uh, I don't know if I ever, I don't, I don't think I ever skipped school for, like, a movie or anything. You know, like, We sometimes. skipped school, seniors. To, for what? For a movie. What movie? Uh, I don't remember. We never skipped school for a movie. The only time I remember anything for senior year was we went to a lot of midnight showings oh, yeah. during our senior year, and it was like okay, half yeah. the theater was filled with our class. Yeah. We went and saw, I think it was like Quantum of Solace. We saw the first Iron Man. We saw a Pirates of the Caribbean movie. We saw... Um, I think we even showed up to school for senior skip day. <laughs> I think we showed up. Yeah, I think I did too. <laughs> so, I don't think I ever did. I don't think I ever think being sick or anything. I didn't do like the whole like, hold the thermometer up to the light so I have a fever, bring it down. Oh, mm-hmm. damn, 110. <laughs> you know, because <laughs> lights are really hot. That never would have worked on my parents. Yeah. <laughs> so. That wouldn't have worked on your dad either. So. Oh, my dad would have not been there. But it probably wouldn't have worked for my mom either. But, all right, guys, that's the last of the Q&As. If you guys have any thoughts, questions, concerns, or anything, make sure you submit them. We do those for all of our live shows. This, Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow, uh, Doctor Who's coming back soon. We're going to be doing it for that. Um, All kinds of stuff. So make sure you guys follow us on Twitter as well. Link's down below in the description. Before we leave, we need a poll. (coughs) Do we trust Marcus? Could yeah, do that. I, I don't have any. The other one is, do you think that the vine could be controlled by a real poison ivy or someone else? Oh, okay. You want to do something like that? Yeah. I think we'll get our answers next week, but... Yeah, probably. Good. And then we'll have an answer. Okay. <laughs> um. All right, guys. So for the poll for this week, we had the ending here where Mary got <laughs> taken away by some vines. Do you think the vines are being controlled by poison ivy or someone slash something else? Like, that could be, like, all the vines have a mind their own. Or, no, it's actually Marcus doing it, you know? Or, or, like, it is a form of Poison Ivy, but her name is not Poison Ivy. Or Pamela, um... Iverson. No. Isley. 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 Yeah. That sounds right. So, let us know what you guys think about the Poison Ivy vines. And, uh, we'll talk about those next week on, uh, Battle. See you guys then. Thank you guys so much for joining us. If you guys uh, uh, like this, like it then. If you didn't like it, you could dislike it too. And subscribe so you see more of this and all the things we put out every like day here on the channel. And uh, yeah, I didn't have an outfit or anything, so I'm sorry I didn't do the Halloween thing. But I am today. If this went up on Friday, check out twitch.tv slash blindwave. We have an RPG thing going on, and I'm going to look all crazy. Let's hope. Err. <laughs>